Will you? Well, I will. The two most powerful words in the English language are I will. Because what comes after I will will shape your life. What you speak after I will, what you believe after the words I will, will control your decisions and shape your life totally. If you believe you will succeed, you will succeed. If you believe you are capable of achieving great things, you will achieve those great things. You will attempt those great things in the first place. If you speak into your life resilience and determination to overcome anything, you will be ready to face and overcome anything. Friends, let the power of I will shape your life in the most powerful way. What you speak after I will is important. What you believe after the words I will will control your decisions and shape your life. Friends, if you believe you are strong, if you believe you are capable of achieving great things, you will attempt those great things in life. I will love. I will be strong. I will be successful. I will be an achiever. I will be abundant. I will be rich. I will be determined. I will be focused. I will be disciplined. I will be healthy. I will be wealthy. I will be beautiful. I will be wise. I will be capable of anything. I will be someone who makes things happen. I will be filled with faith. I will be blessed. I will be grateful to God. I will believe in God. I will thank God for making me a miracle. I will be connected. I will be with God 24-7. I will be more than my body. I will be empathetic towards others. I will be ready for others. I will be focused with others. I will be excited. I will be a fighter. I will be more than enough. I will be a winner. And friends, I will be a champion. Friends, you can't just speak the words. You must feel the words. And then you must believe those words, I will. Repeat them every single day. Let them soak into your subconscious. Dream about the words, I will, because what follows them, let the power become one with you. Are you ready to be great? I will. Replace I want with I will. What comes after I will is the most important thing you could say. Instead of saying I want to be rich, just say I will be rich. Say it, feel it, feel it until you believe it. I will love. I will be strong. I will be successful. I will be abundant. I will be rich. I will be determined. I will be focused. I will be disciplined. I will be capable of anything. I will be strong. I will be a strong person. I will be limitless. Thoughts are powerful, my friends. Thoughts lead to actions, my friends. Actions over time become habits, and habits lead to long-lasting results. If you speak negativity into your life, negativity will show up in your life. I will be me. And I want you to be you. Now stay tuned and join for today's message. Take care. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, an author, and the host of this show to take your life back today. Radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under Take Your Life Back Today show. Folks, I want to talk about uh, uh, what to do if you have the corona or you suspect you have it, uh, coronavirus Call your doctor if you think you have been exposed to the uh, COVID-19 and develop a fever and symptoms such as cough or difficulties breathing. Call your health care provider for medical service or advice. Steps to help prevent spread of COVID-19 if you are sick. Follow the steps below in this video that I'm going to give you. If you're sick with COVID-19 or you think you might have it, Follow the steps in this video to protect other people in your home and community. Remember, I'm not a doctor. I'm just advising you what I read on the Mayo Clinic website. Stay home except to uh, get medical care. It wasn't on the Mayo. It was somewhere uh, on uh, the website. Stay home. People who are mildly ill with COVID-19 are able to recover at home. Do not leave except to get medical care. Do not visit public places. Stay in touch with your doctor. Uh, call before you get medical care. Be, be sure to, uh, to get care if you feel worse or you think it's an emergency. Friends, avoid public transportation. Avoid using public transportation. 
ride sharing, or even taxis or Ubers. Separate yourself from other people in your home. This is known as home isolation. Stay away from others as much as possible. You should stay in a specific sick room and away from other people in your home. Use a separate bathroom if possible. And if not, utilize the sanitation process. Limit contact with pets and animals. You should restrict contact with pets and other animals just like you would around people. Folks, although there have not been reports of pets or other animals becoming sick with the COVID-19, it is still recommended that people with the virus limit contact with animals until more information is known. It's still very uh, 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 fluid right now. When possible, have another member of your household care for your animals while you are sick with COVID-19. If you must care for your pet or be around animals while you are sick, wash your hands before and after you interact with your loving fur friends. Call ahead before visiting your doctor. You definitely want to do that. Uh, Call ahead if you have a medical appointment. Call your doctor's office or emergency department and tell them you may or may not have COVID-19. This will help the office protect themselves and other patients while you're there. Wear a face mask if if uh, if you suspect you're sick. If you are sick, you should wear a face mask, uh, face mask when you are around other people and before you enter a healthcare provider's office. Make sure you buy proper face masks. If you are caring for others, if the person who is sick is not able to wear a face mask, for an example, because it causes trouble breathing, then people who live in the home uh, should stay in a different room as I suggest in the beginning of this video. When caregivers enter the room of the person, uh, of the sick person, they should wear a face mask. Visitors other than caregivers are not recommended at all, my friends. Cover your coughs and your sneezes. I mean, we should do that anyway, automatically, but definitely now. Cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or you sneeze. Dispose uh, to, by throwing used tissues into a lined trash can. Always wash your hands immediately. Wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water are not available, clean your hands with alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Friends, clean your hands often. Clean your hands rapidly and often as soon as you touch things. Wash hands. Wash your hands off with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. This is especially important after blowing your nose, coughing or sneezing, going to the bathroom and before eating or preparing any sort of food. Hand sanitizer. If soap and water are not available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol covering all surfaces of your hands and rubbing uh, uh, them together until they feel dry. I was just looking at my, I'm here at my job, so... Soap and water uh, are the best option, especially if the hands are visible, visibly th- dirty. Avoid touching. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. This will help uh, heal you quicker. Avoid sharing personal household items. Do not share dishes, drinking glasses, cups, eating utensils, towels, or bedding with other people in your home if you have the COVID-19. Wash Thoroughly after use, after using these items, wash them thoroughly with soap and water or put them in a dishwasher. Friends, clean all high-touch surfaces each and every day. All of them. Clean high-touch surfaces in your isolation area, sick room, and bathroom every day. Let a caregiver clean and disinfect high-touch surfaces in other areas of your home. Clean and disinfect routinely Clean high-touch surfaces in your sick room and bathroom. Let someone else clean and disinfect surfaces in common areas, but not your bedroom and your bathroom, if you are isolated there. If a caregiver or other person needs to clean and disinfect a sick person's bedroom or bathroom, they should do so um, um, on a as-need basis. The caregiver or other person should wear a mask and, wa- and wait as long as possible after the sick person has used the bathroom. Friends, 
High touch surfaces include phones, remote controls, counters, tabletops, uh, doorknobs, bathroom fixtures, toilets, keyboards, tablets, and bedside tables. Clean and disinfect areas that may not that may have blood stool, blood stool or bodily fluids on them. Household cleaners and disinfectants. Clean the area or item with soap and water or another detergent if it is dirty. Then use household disinfectant. Be sure to follow the instructions on the label to ensure safe and effective use of the products. Many products recommend keeping the surface wet for several minutes to ensure germs are killed. Many also recommend precautions such as wearing gloves and making sure that you have good ventilation during the use of their products. Most EPA registered household disinfectants should be effective. A full list of disinfectants can be found uh, um, at, uh, online. Monitor your symptoms. Seek medical attention, but call first. Seek medical care right away if your illness is worsening. For an example, if you have difficulty breathing. Friends, call your doctor before going to the doctor. Going Before going to the doctor's office or emergency room, call ahead and tell them that your uh, uh, about your symptoms, they will tell you what to do and when to come in. Wear a face mask, mask all the time if possible. Put the face mask on. So these are the things that I wanted to talk about protecting yourself and your loved ones and your pets and the doctors and all the professionals out there. If you have either signs or you do have COVID nineteen, the coronavirus is killing people all over the place. Let's be smart and utilize it the best way we can. Follow care instructions from your health care provider and local health department. Your local health authorities will give instructions on checking your symptoms and reporting information. Start today and save your life. Call 911 if you have a medical emergency. If you have a medical emergency and need to call 911, notify the operator that you have or think that you might have COVID-19. If possible, put on that face mask before medical help arrives. God loves you. I hope uh, uh, that you uh, stay healthy and uh, hopefully one of these days you won't be isolated to home anymore. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to a total stranger can help that stranger for the rest of their life. Can help you too. If you will not have a test to determine if you are still contagious, if you do have COVID-19, you can leave home after these three things have happened. I just want to close with this. You have had no fever for 72 hours. I, it's important. 72 hours without a fever. Fever. That is important. And listen to number two here. And other symptoms have uh, improved. For an example, when uh, your cough or shortness of breath have improved. And the last one before I uh, go, at least seven days have passed since your symptoms first appeared. Do all those three, uh, do everything I talked about in this video. Wait for those three things to happen and God will protect you either way. Reach out, keep your faith up. Remember, sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. And may God bless you. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now. Take good care. Bye.